Welcome to the Vickers q and I'm Coach Steve, here to answer all your bodybuilding related questions. Today's question is from Arjun is God, or Arjun is God, I'm not sure, Arjun is God, okay. Do you think running a mild TRT dose with Turinabol would be beneficial from a health standpoint as somebody doing your first cycle? I was thinking about 250 milligrams of test E plus 25 milligrams of Turinabol every day for 12 weeks. All right, so if as soon as you start using hormones, testosterone production shut down. And whether that's SARMs, Turinabol, Anavar, Winsorol, Dbol, any other oral, yeah, maybe even Provirin, it's going to shut down your HPTA and your testosterone levels are going to decline. It might take about four weeks. So in the first four weeks, you're nice and pumped and everything's easy and your orals are working and then your libido is gone, your estrogen conversion is gone, which causes all sorts of side effects. So please, if you want to start your first cycle, let's start with a hormone that your body is already used to, testosterone. And 250 is definitely a good way to go. That's what I did first cycle on the boards to say 500 tests and D-ball kickstart. Luckily, I didn't buy into the hype. 250 tests per week, more than enough. Yeah, more than enough, given that you've been bodybuilding for a while. Yeah, so if you've been uh, focusing on your diet, focusing on your training, you tried a decent amount of supplements, some creatine, some carnitine, some taurine, you know, you, you use some whey protein, some collagen protein, you have a decent experience with your body and how it responds to different training, dieting, and supplementations. 250 tests is more than enough. More than enough. Yeah, and you need to check your baseline. Yeah, you want to see where your natural testosterone production is at. You want to see where your estrogen is at, your sexual myelin globulin, your lipids. You do the full blood panel to assess where your health is at beginning of the cycle. Yeah, so you do your blood work first. You have a baseline. Then you can start your cycle. If your blood work is not good, you don't start your cycle because your body needs to be healthy for it to utilize the compounds. And if it's not healthy, you're not going to get the results that you desire. So get yourself healthy first. If you're healthy, go ahead. Yeah, Check your testosterone, estrogen, and SOBG levels because that's where you're going to have to end up at again. When you finish your cycle, you do your PCT. And then maybe two or three months after your PCT, you check your hormone levels to see if they returned to where they were before the cycle. All right, with that out of the way, 250 tests, you start with that. Control your estrogen, keep Novodex in hand just in case of gynecomastia symptoms. Learn how to control your acne. Yeah, if you're prone to hair loss, you might want to look into finasteride, but that will be a last resort because that might come with all kinds of libido issues later on. 250 tests, you give that an assessment for four weeks. See how you respond, see how your estrogen is, see how your acne is, see how your hair loss is. Right? Give yourself a test only for four weeks because you're going from basically 100 milligrams of test to 250 milligrams of test. 100 milligrams you're producing naturally, giving you a you know a serum testosterone level of let's say six 600 to 1,000 nanograms per deciliter. You know, middle of the top of the range. Given that you're healthy and not not too old, you know some guys are declined already to 400 or even 300 nanograms per deciliter. So let's say you're sitting in the middle of the top of the range, you're healthy, you start the testosterone, 250 tests, it will probably bring levels to up to 2,500. So now you're, you know, maybe even 2,800. Um, now you're in two and a half times the hormones you were on previously. That's more than enough. And it might cause some side effects. So give yourself four weeks to assess what the side effects are, what the, what the results are going to be before you add in the Turinabol. And then if everything is okay, you're making progress, everything is fine. 25 milligrams to run a ball from week 4 to 12. Perfect. Now you figured out how your body responded to the testosterone only. You made a decent amount of improvements that could actually facilitate and utilize the the ball you're going to add on top. And last but not least, testosterone increases androgen receptors. So if you're producing naturally 100 milligrams of test per week and you got a decent amount of androgen receptors, which is enough for that testosterone dose, when you increase the 250 test, it produces more androgen receptors, and now the turinabol has a place to attach to. So if you start from natural to 500 test and, you know, 50 milligrams of turinabol, your body doesn't, doesn't utilize it. It's just side effect heaven. You want to build up, build up to a certain dose. 250 test, four weeks, see how you respond. Add the turinabol on top, 25 milligrams, give that four weeks. Um, knowing how bodybuilders are, you're not going to do 12 weeks. You're going to be on for 16 weeks, 20 weeks. <laughs> TRT, 
you know, it's a lifetime commitment. And once you start racing the Ferrari at 100 miles per hour, racing the Ferrari at 60 miles per hour is going to feel pretty damn slow. Um, you're still in the Ferrari, though. So you, you took the Toyota from 60 miles per hour to uh, Ferrari, 60 or 100 miles per hour. And then even if you take it, the Ferrari down to 60 miles per hour, it's going to feel the same as the Toyota, but you're still in, in a Ferrari. You know? So just keep in mind that it's a lifetime commitment. I realized that when I started hormones and, and you go through PCT, it's not a fun experience. Um, you know, whether that's through the clomid or declining hormone levels or, or, um, you know, losing the, the visual appearance that you've worked so hard for during your cycle. You know, just keep that in mind because um, nobody ever does one cycle. And um, yeah, depending on which age and, and level of testosterone you had, it might be better to just do hormone replacement after that. Don't, don't go through the whole PCT process. So if your hormone levels were like 500, 600 to... Uh, thousand nanograms per deciliter okay you can do pct if you were at 200 nanograms per deciliter 300 400 nanograms per deciliter hormonal replacement might be a little bit more suitable and that in that case you can reduce it all the way down to 100 milligrams or 125 milligrams testosterone per week again depending on your size and how much additional muscle you've built on the cycle because the more muscle you've built you're probably looking at a higher hormone replacement dose and so 250 tests Turn the ball on top, maybe go down to hormone replacement, and then start the cycle all over again. Yeah? Slowly build into that cycle. Take it easy. It's a good start, 250 test in Turin ball that should be completely safe, completely reasonable. Good luck. Make sure you keep track of your lipids and your liver enzymes because those are going to be changed on cycle, and that's why we do blood work. And I hope that helps, buddy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.